Welcome back on SWAM portal. I am Tamim Ahmed, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Engineering, Zakir Hussain College of Engineering and Technology, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. This is module 16 of the fourth week of the refresher course on ICT in teacher education. In this module, we are going to discuss about currently available scheduling tools. And this is the extension of the previous module, scheduling tools, concept and educational uses. So far, we saw that the most of the things are common and provide similar features of the time management software in calendaring and scheduling with some distinctions and difference focus and perspective. The objective of this discussion is to introduce the scheduling tools and familiarize the audience to use it in day-to-day -day activity of educational system. After completing this module, you will understand planning and scheduling tasks and event and you will be able to create your events and meetings on these software. In brief, scheduling tools or the software application are used for scheduling meetings or the events or itineraries. It could be an application program or the cloud-based application that can be accessed from any device like PC, laptop, smartphones or wearable devices. Most electronic meeting scheduling system or an online meeting scheduling system is a web-based service that help you schedule time for business and per personal purpose. The list of scheduling tool is another long list similar to the calendaring tools. The most commonly used calendaring tools are Doodle, Calendly, Genie, Pickup Meeting, HubSpot Meetings, Grapple Meetings, Rally and many other. They provide different features. There is no such single solution to the entire schedule task. For a kind of schedule, a particular tool may be better and for some other task, the other tool may perform better. We would see the working in the activity. Scheduling an event sometimes become very difficult in the case when there are number of participants with different busyness. So there are a number of application tools that can help in doing so. This is one, the Doodle. The URL for this application is doodle.com and this is the home screen. It is a pool based application a web-based software that can help you in scheduling an event or a meeting. So each participant is supposed to give his available schedule and among all the available schedule you can choose a particular slot at which each participant is available. So in order to use it you need to have an account on the Doodle. If you do not have you can create a new one or if you have already existing account, you can just log in by your credential. Even you can log in with your existing Google accounts by clicking this button. Even you can provide your Facebook credentials to log in in, in the Doodle. I am already having an account in it. So I will be providing my credentials for sign in. So that would take me to the dashboard. Here there is a button, the schedule an event, where we, I, I can create an event. So by clicking that blue button, a new screen, a new page would be available where I can specify and mention the title of the event. Let's say it is a general body meeting. You can specify the location, means either it is to be defined later or it is a conference call or a phone call, a Skype, a Google Hangout or there are so many options. You can, you can add details about this meeting uh, and you can provide either the agenda or you can distribute the responsibility in the notes and description section. You can further continue it. Here the dates are available. You can choose the dates. Let's say I am going to choose these many dates for this particular meeting and giving these options to the participants. Let's say the almost complete week, the six days of this particular week is selected. So uh, after clicking continue, so my, my uh, event is almost ready except these options. Let's, uh, if you are looking to have yes, no option, you can check it and you can if you hide the participants name means you want to keep the participant list confidential you can check it over here 
and you can these these right side options are actually paid kind of things you cannot use it essentially essentially you need not to pay uh, pay any any amount to use it uh, if you do not need any add-ons feature so just finish it as soon as i would finish this uh, link would be available i can copy this particular link and and you know, correspondingly a mail would be received by me so i can see this particular mail and uh, i can invite participants even i can i can provide my availability in this particular event so i i need to send it so my availability is okay so the link i copied is is the link you can share with your participants the link you copied can be shared among the participant either by email or by sms or as a whatsapp message whatever you, you choose or prefer so the link received by the participant in the email or in the sms can be navigated to the page let's say here and it would take the participant to a pool where he or she can specify and mention his name let's say and this particular person is available in these three days so you can vote for this mention time let's say the third person receives the same uh, link sent by you so he would be accessing the same page this would take him to that particular page as well so that particular person may specify his name and let's say he has chosen these two days and dates for this particular event and can submit so for each responses and replies from your participant you would be getting emails like you see over here another from second person you have received this from first person you have received this mail so you can check the status of your event or you can see the pool by clicking this blue button or even you can sign in in your doodle account and on your dashboard you can choose an event and you can see the current status here the status is available means every participants availability mark is available and you can see the current status of your pool at any instance of time moreover you at the at the sufficient time elapse or after the deadline you can click this close pool and send calendar invitation button that would take you to the same location and give you the idea uh, what is the preferred time uh, so it is saying the most voted option so far is the tuesday november 27th but you can choose any other below this will close the voting and let you book it in your calendar so this is the status of your pool actually so this is the time the system is picking the most voted time this one 27th november you can choose and make a trade off and you are if you are not comfortable you can pick another one and you can finish this pooling that would close the pooling and that even would be would be added to your calendar after clicking this that button so actually we learn uh, scheduling an event on a tool there are so many other which similar kind of features some provides much more additional features some provides some additional other kind of features so now you can choose uh, any any of the available tool and you can schedule your events meetings or the similar kind of things and you can use it in your day to day activity and you can you can you can have things well organized in your professional life thank you for patient listening happy learning thank you very much